So it's been a couple weeks um, past due, <laughs> but I'm finally back for a video. <laughs> I know you guys miss me so much. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the Jess in Sunday Dress, and I haven't made a YouTube video in about six-ish weeks now. Um, super sorry, but thank you for the time off. It was fantastic. My work was crazy, and um, all my dog mom duties. Uh, do you guys remember Ruby? I introduced her a few videos back when we first got her. She's gotten so much bigger. Um, she's got a little winter coat on because it's freezing. And uh, this is our little nugget. And she's gonna help out with today's video. And by help, I mean she's really just gonna sleep through the whole thing and make little noises on the ground with her little tippy tappy paws. So, thank you, Ruby. Okay, time to go night. <laughs> All right, guys, it's so awesome to be back here on my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to start making more videos for you guys. I have so many fun ideas, and you guys have been awesome to send me so many great video ideas on Instagram. And that is actually where I'm getting all the questions for today's video, the truth or spice challenge. So I've seen this video going on all over YouTube and it started out as like truth or drink, but <laughs> we all know I don't do the latter part. So <laughs> we're doing the truth or spice version where basically you round up all the spiciest seasonings in your cabinet. And um, if there's a question that I just don't wanna answer that's a little too much for me that you guys asked, uh, then I have to uh, go ahead and take a little teeny spoonful of one of these nasty spices. And forewarned, I am like the biggest baby when it comes to spices. Oh my gosh. So get ready to laugh and also get ready to hear the answers to some of your very juicy and very spicy questions that you asked me over on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there. All right. So to get started, I have my trusty assistant, Eric, here. Um, say hi. Hello. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to see him on camera because truth be told, he didn't wanna be a part of this video. Um, but he was more than willing to read the good questions that you guys asked and make sure that I play the game fairly and take my spices when I don't wanna answer. So, let's go ahead and go. Question number one. How much money do you make from YouTube? Oh, <laughs> not much. <laughs> I still have to work an actual job uh, in order to live. YouTube does nowhere near pay for anything, but it's like a nice little bonus in my bank account every once in a while. So I, it's like maybe like $75 a month. It's really like not much, so. But that is thanks to all of you guys and your awesome support of my channel, so thank you. Hey everybody, Jess here, and this is a special message for all my future sister missionaries or people gift shopping for sister missionaries. I'm having a special Black Friday sale on my newsletter subscriptions with 55% off, and you can get an 18-month subscription of the Sisterhood, which is normally $80, for just $36. Every month, I create an amazing email newsletter for sister missionaries all over the world. It's full of advice, stories, spiritual thoughts, new workouts, teaching printables, and so much more delivered straight to your missionary.org email. Use code Black Friday at checkout. Thanks for supporting my small business, and back to the video. Okay, number two. Who did you vote for in the election? <laughs> I'm not answering that one. Take some spice. <laughs> so I'm willing to throw this one away because one, I I just hate talking politics because my opinion isn't going to change your opinion. Um, but you're an influencer, so yeah, that's kind of like the definition. Not in you politics. Do. You can't influence somebody on politics. I can influence them to buy yes, a cute skirt, but I can't influence them to buy to who to vote for, and it's over anyways. So, um, anyways. Uh, so our, I forgot to introduce all my spices. Like I said, I'm a big baby. So we're starting out with pumpkin pie spice because this qualifies. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably really gross though. It reminds me of like the cinnamon challenge. Mmm. That's <laughs> so gross. Obviously <laughs> that one was not the spiciness factor, but just like Take the- Take that good one for you. Ugh, what, what's next? What was your first kiss and did you enjoy it? Um, this is actually already up on my channel. Uh, I did a whole uh, first videos with Mimi. You guys can go check it out. It'll be linked here in the video. Um, but in there, I actually talk about my first kiss. So I'm not even gonna waste time here talking about it because it, I gave you guys all the good details over in that video. <laughs> Have you ever thought the church was all just a big joke or a lie like other churches and religions? Ooh, that's a good one. Yes. Like I have definitely like gone through like really kind of like darker times where I've like really questioned my testimony and stuff um, and questioned like the validity of a lot of church aspects, especially like with Joseph Smith. I think that's always been a hard one for through a lot of prayer though. I've come to realize that like, no, like that actually happened and I believe it to be true. And I like have a testimony of that now. So it's okay if you go through those dark times because you come out stronger in the end. Are you rich? Are you rich? <laughs> I'll answer that. No. <laughs> no, we are not. 
We are not rich by any means, so. Yet, yet though. Oh, I like the, I like the optimism there. <laughs> Next question. Do you consider yourself arrogant? Ooh. Um. <sighs> <laughs> I would like to say like. Yes and no. Like I make jokes all the time that are like totally arrogant jokes, but just between Eric and I, like dumb, like prideful, like hair flip kind of jokes to you, but like I try to be so conscious and self-aware of like comments that I make to other people and like I'm always asking Next, like, if things sound okay. How many guys have you kissed? <laughs> it's like 24 or 5 or something like that. What is your 100% honest opinion of Utah culture? Ooh, um, this one I'm definitely not afraid to give. Um, gosh, I'm so excited. I don't have to get through any of these spices. Um, so. Oh, okay, Utah culture. Um, I think Utah is great. It definitely grew on me in the three years that I lived there. Um, for those of you who don't know, I moved back to my hometown in Northern California after living in Utah for three years and going to Utah Valley University. Um, I It definitely grew on me, like I said. Uh, but there's still some aspects, like I would never want to raise my kids there. I just don't want to like send my kids to a high school in Utah where like, I don't know, like everybody knows everything about the church and everyone knows what you are and you aren't supposed to be doing. And like, I would just hate for like my kids to like be bullied for trying to do the right thing because everybody knows what they should be doing, if that makes sense, so. Thoughts on Kwaku's approach to responding to the antis in a mean way? I know who sent this one in. <laughs> you know too. I think it's awesome. Mormons are always like the butt of the jokes in America. And like, I think it's totally fine when like we clap back a little bit and um, stand up for ourselves and not just like, I don't know, try to peacefully concede out of like every debate. Quaker's awesome. He has some like, great debate videos with like pastors and different leaders of other, of other religions. Definitely go check out his channel if you guys have not already. Have you ever lied during a bishop's interview? Mm, no. Uh, I guess I should have answered quicker. That sounded bad. It sounded like I was <laughs> questioning myself, but I had to think back to all my teenage years. Remember if I, I did. Of all the LDS influencers you've met, who did you have the worst experience with? Oh. Okay, I can't give like an actual name. So we're gonna take this because I don't wanna, I don't wanna be mean. But not everybody- You just defended Quaker being mean. Uh, yeah, but th this is talking about like- People on your team. Influencer girls who are just not nice people. Like, like who? I can't do that, I just, oh my gosh. <laughs> this was just black pepper BS. Yes. Ew. <coughs> Next. Ready for some more pepper? <laughs> no. Have you ever gone too far with a boyfriend or date? I literally have an entire video up on my channel about this. <laughs> you want to go see my repentance video um, where I talk all about that and my life. Uh, I'll have that linked here as well. <laughs> Who is your favorite mission companion? Oh, my favorite. That's actually really hard. Um, okay, probably Armana Flores. Um, she actually has a YouTube channel as well. I'm just gonna plug everybody here. Um, but she has a YouTube channel, she's super sweet. If you guys um, are from South America or speak Spanish and wanna watch her videos, she does awesome things all about like LDS culture and her life. So I will have her channel linked down below. She's so sweet, but yeah, she's probably my favorite companion. Cool, next question. Who's your least favorite companion? And we could put all their pictures up here. <laughs> We're gonna go with some cinnamon now. <laughs> cinnamon challenge, better be a full tablespoon. No, it's not gonna be a full tablespoon. It's gonna be a- Don't, don't like breathe this. that in. I'm not. <laughs> it mixed with the pepper. All right, oh. next. This one's just in. What are you getting your husband for Christmas? Oh, funny, that's not a question. Have you ever drank any alcohol? No, I have not. I didn't. Why didn't you say you did? Oh, okay, you just looked at me questioningly. Oh no, I was just trying to read the Oh no, yeah. no I haven't. I've yes. been sober for 24 <laughs> years. <laughs> what are your opinions on other LDS influencers who don't wear their garments? <laughs> so, um, I actually asked you guys this a question on my Instagram because I uh, have had a blog post in the works about this exact topic for probably over a year now, but I don't want it to ever come across the wrong way, so I've never posted it. 
Um, and I really don't even want to get into it right now because it's a whole can of worms. So we're just going to take a can of spice instead um, and call it that way. Okay, so this is, uh, this is literally a uh, steak seasoning. Okay. It was good for like two seconds. And then it got bad. Have you ever broken any mission rules? Oops. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> Um, yes, I definitely did. Out of like. Okay, yeah, I guess there was one. Okay, so <laughs> you're right. Um, so one time, actually at the very end of my mission, oh my gosh, like the steak season is still lingering in my throat. Um, at the very end of my mission, literally I had like probably a month left. It was General Conference of April 2017. And uh, I was training a sister who was from Argentina, so she spoke Spanish, obviously. And in South America, you watch General Conference in Spanish. So if there's enough like English missionaries in your zone, you can get together and watch General Conference in English. Um, but in this case, I was the only sister in the whole zone that spoke English, but there was a whole bunch of elders that spoke English too. So all the elders had gotten together um, and the like upstairs of the church building to watch General Conference in English. And nothing in Spanish, but the apostles' voices are actually um, voiced over by a Spanish translator, so it's not even the apostles' voices during general conference, and like my heart just yearned for, to hear English and to hear general conference in English because it was so much extra effort to like sit and translate it in your head, and it just wasn't quite the spiritual experience that I loved about general conference uh, in Spanish. So um, I like texted my leaders, I'm like, hey, can I go upstairs and watch it? Um, there's no other sisters, but like I'm gonna be in a room of like ten elders, so like nothing's gonna happen. But I would be the only sister. Um, my companion would still be with other sister missionaries. I thought it'd been fine, but they were like, yeah, no, you can't do it. I was super, super annoyed to say the least. And I think I tried like two or three times asking, um, and I kept getting pushed back. And so finally general conference started like tabernacle choir singing and we're sitting downstairs, me and my companion. Uh, and I just got so annoyed. I literally just stood up and I walked out and I walked upstairs. And I walked into the room where all the elders were watching in English and I just sat down right next to them and everybody was just dead silent and staring at me and I was empowered and yet so embarrassed all at the same time. <laughs> and I was hoping that if I just proved my point that everyone would be like, you know, this is fine, but obviously that's not what happened. And they all made me go back downstairs and sit with my companion and then my mission president called me later that day and um, yeah, nothing happened of it, but uh, no one was overly pleased with me. So I guess that's my bad thing I did in the mission. <laughs> Can I have it off? Hey, whoops. All right. Oh, okay. Jeez. Not graceful. No, not graceful is not in Ruby's name. All right, guys, that was the last question. Thank goodness. Thank you guys so much for submitting questions for my video. Um, like I said, if you want to be part of future videos, go follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me and you got the answers to some of your spicy questions. Um, <laughs> I'd like to say I enjoyed this video, but I actually genuinely kind of did. So thank you, Eric, for your help. And thanks everybody for watching. Oh, Rubes, you got your little coat on. Yeah, can you say bye? Ruby. Can you say bye? Come here, Ruby. <laughs> bye.